photography has transformed the way we see the world around us, capturing moments in time and preserving them for future generations. In this video, we'll explore the history of photography, from the early camera obscura to the modern digital camera. Chapter 1, The Camera Obscura The camera obscura was the precursor to the modern camera, using a small hole in a darkened room to project an image onto a surface. It was invented in the 17th century, and while it wasn't used for photography at the time, it laid the foundation for future advancements. Chapter 2, Early Experiments In the early 19th century, several scientists and inventors conducted experiments to create photographic images. One of the most notable was Joseph Nice for Niepce, who created the first permanent photograph in 1826. Niepce used a camera obscura and a metal plate coated in bitumen to capture the image, which took several hours to develop. Chapter 3, The Daguerreotype In 1839, Louis Jacques Mondé Daguerre introduced the daguerreotype, a process that used a polished silver-coated copper plate to create a detailed image. This process was expensive and time-consuming, but it produced sharp and detailed images that were popular with the public. Chapter 4, The Calotype The same year, William Henry Fox Talbot invented the calotype process. This process used paper coated with silver iodide, and it allowed for multiple prints to be made from a single negative. This was a significant improvement over the daguerreotype, as it was cheaper and allowed for multiple copies to be made. Chapter 5, The Wet Plate Collodion In 1851, Frederick Scott Archer invented the wet plate collodion process. This process allowed for faster exposure times and sharper images by using a glass plate coated with a light-sensitive emulsion. This process was widely used until the introduction of dry plate photography in the 1870s. Chapter 6, The Dry Plate In 1871, Richard Maddox invented the dry plate process, which used a glass plate coated with a light-sensitive emulsion. The dry plate process was less messy than the wet plate collodion process and could be stored for later use. This process was used until the introduction of film photography in the late 1800s. Chapter 7, The Kodak Camera In 1888, George Eastman introduced the first Kodak camera, which used roll film. This made photography much more accessible to the general public, as people could take pictures without having to develop them themselves. The Kodak camera was a significant advancement in photography, and it paved the way for future innovations. Chapter 8, Color Photography in 1907, the first commercially successful color process, called autochrome, was introduced by the Lumiere brothers. This process used glass plates coated with a mosaic of colored grains of potato starch. The autochrome process was expensive and time-consuming, but it produced vibrant and colorful images. Chapter 9, The Polaroid Camera In 1947, the Polaroid camera was introduced, which allowed people to develop their photos instantly. The Polaroid camera was a significant innovation in photography, as it allowed people to see their images immediately instead of having to wait for them to be developed. Chapter 10, Digital Photography In 1975, the first digital camera was invented by Stephen Sasson of Kodak. This camera used a CCD sensor to capture images that could be stored on a cassette tape. Digital Photography In 